Today, guys, I'm going to show you the way to do air brush storm cannon blue in weather in stuff. This footage was taken from our live Twitch stream. We did we did paint this live in front of an audience. Uh, you can find us on Twitch at twitch.tv slash hellstormwargaming where we paint every week, uh, Monday to Wednesday at 8pm GMT. So what we're going to do to start out with is start with uh, basically painting the storm cannons uh, in our traditional, like, kind of true metallic metal, I guess. Uh, so we're going to start out with um, Vallejo Model Air Metallic Black, which is like a really, really dark silver. It's kind of like darker than GW's Lead Belcher. And then we're going to add some black to that as well to even darken it down even further. And this is just give like the initial base coat over a black spray paint uh, to kind of build up the uh, metals that we've already got. So we're going to spray this all over and then we're going to come in with a lighter color next to like kind of brighten this up. But this is just our initial coat for the shadows, essentially. You don't have to do it with the, like a silver, you could do it in any type of metal, but for this example, I'm just showing you what it looks like on silver, because that's kind of like the way I do it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to basically, we've washed out the airbrush, uh, we've added some metallic black, and we're going to add some Vallejo Model Air uh, Gun Grey into this. So it's kind of like a 50-50 mix to make like a mid-tone of Gun Grey. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to focus on the tops of the weapon, and we're going to focus on like the sides, so not the bottom. So basically where the light would naturally hit it, so tops and sides, and kind of like blend that in with the airbrush. Trying to create like a natural light in for this, before we put washers on or anything like that after the effect's been done. So now we've done that, we're going to do something very similar, just with pure gun grey. We're basically going to focus on the tops and then like, kind of like, not the total side, but maybe like halfway down, kind of like a semicircle over the gun. Of a lighter color just to build up that again building up that lighting kind of go for like a true metallic metal it's very reflected on top and there's no light at bottom so it's less reflective so now what we're going to do is we're going to add a uh, vallejo model air aluminium which is very very bright silver this is basically like uh storm host silver from gw on steroids and this is going to be the extreme highlight. So this is basically just going to be the tops of the barrels uh, towards the end of the gun to really pick out the um, the, the focus. By having the, the barrels at the lightest point, they're going to be the focus of the gun rather than the back body. So now we're actually going to start the blue in. We're going to start off with Army Painter Weapon Bronze, which is like a really dull uh, coppery bronze. And this is going to be like where we're going to put the hottest point of the weapon so what we do is we basically start off maybe two thirds of the way up the gun where it might be highest towards the barrel and we're going to start building up this color only have very light coats to start with because it is quite a thick um thick color we've thinned it down with um vallejo's uh, flow improver and a little bit of thinner because this is basically straight from the pot this is an airbrush color so we're basically using on the storm cannons we've got like these ridges just before the barrel start we're using that as a guide that's going to be where we think the hottest point of the gun is So we're just building up that colour very slowly and then just blending it down the barrel so kind of like it's spreading. This is our initial base coat for the, uh, the bluing on the guns. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take silver, this is uh, Vallejo Game Colour, uh, Game Air Hex Lichen, and we're going to spray the barrels uh, purple essentially and kind of blend that into the bronze that we've just sprayed and this kind of creates the, the initial heat effect if you wanted to you could literally just do it with these two colors and it's starting to look good but we're going to take it a little bit further using blue and black afterwards so you can see we're trying not to blend too much over the bronze we're just trying to just pull those two colors together So now what we're going to do is we're going to take Vallejo Game Color or Game Air Imperial Blue and we're going to spray like halfway down the, the ends of the barrels where we've just sprayed the purple and just darken them out. So this is kind of just pushing that heating effect a little bit further and making sure we're catching the ends of the barrels as well where the actual uh, bullet is going to be coming from. 
Again, you could leave it here if you want, but we've got one more colour to go, trying to push it a little bit further. You can see the difference there, that the, uh, the blue is just making it look a bit more interesting, a bit more realistic, I'd say. So now last one, we're going to basically take the bit of blue and add black to it. So it's a very dark, dark blue. Essentially, it looks black. But we're basically just going to spray the ends of the barrels now, uh, where the bullets have come out. And this is going to represent, like, soot coming out of it, basically. So again, you'd be, probably be able to see the difference. It just make, pushes it that little bit further, takes it to the next level, makes it more interesting to see, uh, to look at, rather than just having blue or just purple. So there you have it guys, this is the Leviathan all done. Uh, it's not a great picture and I've noticed the barrel's bent so then he's sorting. But then here's another example on a Stormhawk Interceptor uh, engine. And you can get the same effect doing the exact same technique, just a little bit lighter. So brother, I hope you know the way to do blue storm cannon hot metal. <laughs> In all seriousness, thank you very much for watching guys. I hope it will help with your painting, with anything you want to weather, want to blue up. Uh, making it look like hot metal, like your engines and your storm cannons and stuff like that. Uh, this technique could be used um, using a traditional paintbrush, but what you'd have to do is basically take those colours and make a glaze and try and blend those colours together. It would be very difficult, it would be very time consuming, but if you feel confident, I definitely suggest you giving it a go. Um, hopefully, if you enjoy this video and you enjoy the painting, then you can catch us live on Twitch. Um, as I say, again, it's Monday, Tuesdays and Wednesdays from 8pm GMT with some other streams scattered around. And we do gaming and stuff on Fridays and Sundays uh, where we can. So hopefully you can catch us there. And also, if you are interested, like, we have a Discord. Uh, Discord is basically like a really cool web app or browser-based uh, um, piece of software where you basically can, can chat to people. Uh, you can share pictures, share links, and um, basically I, we're on there. We've got our own help for Hellstone Wargaming. Where there's loads of guys in there sharing basically tactics, uh, hobby stuff, general chit-chat, memes, which is always just, just fantastic. So I hope you join there. There's a link below. Any other links I mentioned, or we always have our social media. We've got Instagram. We've got um facebook and stuff like that so again i hope this uh, this has helped thank you very much for watching i've been hellstone wargaming you guys have been fantastic and hopefully we'll catch you in the next one see you later